Here we're going to learn how to use the Orion OTP plugin with the user registration plugin. So guys, I've already downloaded the user registration plugin, which is this one, and I have already activated it. And once you activate it, you will have the uh, user registration menu that will be added over here. If you click on the user registration, then it will give you a short code which you can use to create the page for the registration. So let's do that. So I'm going to add a new page and I will call it as user registration registration plugin page. You can name it what you like but I'm just naming it so that I can remember it. And just publish it. And I'm going to go ahead and go on to this particular link. So I'll just copy the link and open up a new uh, window in the incognito mode so that I'm not logged in. Let's close this one, paste it. <coughs> And sure enough, we've got a registration form over here. Okay, so let's say I want to use the Orient OTP plugin and I want to insert uh, the mobile number, the you know, OTP verification over here as well. So let's find out. I'm going to use the same, uh, you know, same thing that we have used in the previous tutorial where I've uh, explained to you how to use it with contact form 7. So we're going to go ahead and get the auth key first. So we'll go to the API copy this auth key go on to the plugin setting page which is here right here okay and on the top we'll paste the auth key over here then we'll put the sender's id which could be anything of your choice but it has to be six characters example this then we'll select the country code the country that we want to use it for like i said for the free one it's one country at a time and for the premium one you can select all from here so that user will have an option to enter the uh, country code from the uh, front end <clears throat> okay then you choose the mobile length then you select which one you want to go for is it OTP or transaction routes so OTP route will be available for free in the free version of the plugin and transaction route will be available in the pro version and by the way I'll leave the link in the description box where you can buy the plugin we keeping the cost very low guys because uh, there's a lot of hard work that goes behind making this plugin uh, while we endeavor that uh, you know this is to help everyone uh, and while we are getting rewarded our main intention is to help people and hence we are keeping the cost very very low okay so it's easy on everyone's pocket all right so um go to the form settings and over here is where i want to go ahead and put all the form details and uh, i will be uh, entering all the information about what selectors you can use uh, over here in the description box in the video for this particular uh, plugin which is user user registration plugin okay <clears throat> and um, so let's go ahead and find out so this is my form you just have to do inspect element it's very easy and simple scroll up look for the closest form so this is my form element and it says that if you hover over it it says that please enter the unique body class name and, and the class name and id name of the div before the form so basically it's saying that go ahead and find out the unique ID for the uh, unique class name for the body. So a unique class name could be this page ID uh, 146 because guys obviously the page ID will be uh, unique. It cannot be uh, you know the same for all pages. So I'm going to just put that there and just make sure that you put dot if it's a class name. So I'm going to put dot over here. Okay. Uh, just before that, I'm going to prefix dot. Make sure there's no there are no spaces in between like this, otherwise it won't work. And then put a space after this, and let's look for a selector of the form. So, just going to go ahead and uh, this is my form. And just before the form, I want the div that wraps this form. So if I close this div, I can see the form is gone, which means that this is the div which is uh, you know wrapping up this form. So I need this class basically, which is you are front end form okay i'm going to put like i said i'll put this class name and everything all the selector name in the description box so you can just copy paste from there unless the plugin uh, themselves have changed something okay <clears throat> then i need the submit button selector so what is my submit button if i scroll up i can see that this is my submit button just do an inspect element this is my 
uh, submit button and the class name the unique class name uh, not unique but uh, the class name for this is you are submit button so if you hover over it it says that please enter a unique body uh, class name uh, followed by the submit button id or class name so again you need to put the unique body class name and the submit button id name so i'll just copy this i'll paste it over here let's put a space and I'll put a dot over here as well okay so guys in case if you're not able to find the contact form selector this is optional but it's always good to put this information uh, you know in case if it's available uh, since I'm uh, discussing this particular plugin so it's available but if it's any other any other plugin any other form that you're using then if you don't have this information it's okay to miss this but we do need these two these three okay so you put that over here uh, do we want a mobile field yes because this doesn't have a mobile field uh, so we'll select yes otherwise we would have selected no and put the mobile input field name okay so we'll select yes and then over here is where i will put my message make sure this you use this template uh, the content could be different but make sure that you have the otp in capital letter written in the curly braces so we'll write your you can write something else also i'm just writing your password is or your OTP is and then put use the curly braces and inside of it in capital letters you put the OTP okay so that's all you have to do you can hit enter over here or you can just go down and click on save changes <clears throat> okay let's come back over here and refresh the page and we should be able to see uh, an input field created by the plugin sure enough you can see that this is the input field uh, obviously everybody has different requirements uh, some people would want the mobile number after the email or before the username and we couldn't have really made a choice because this is going to be used by multiple users hence we've decided to keep it right after the form okay if you want to make any uh, you know uh, customization in your plugin or uh, there's any specific requirement that you have you always have an option to buy, buy our customization package you can just go to imransayer.com orion and you have a package called pro with customization you can read about it and uh, you can contact us for this so that we can give you a customized plugin okay great uh, <clears throat> but with a free one you do have an option like this okay so let's go ahead and enter the mobile number over here I'm just gonna put that there okay so I'll put the mobile number 9960119960 okay you can see you can't edit this is because you've already selected a 9-1 over here. So it's already there. Okay. Click on send. Uh, first of all, I want to show it to you that if I try to submit the form over here, it won't allow me because this won't allow the user to submit the form until they have verified their phone number. Okay. Uh, if you don't enter the mobile number, obviously you will get some kind of validation also. You can see enter the mobile number. If you don't enter the required digit that you have put over here then again you will get an error please enter the correct mobile number okay so all of that validation is there so now let's click on send otp you can see it says that uh, otp sent to mobile and all i have to do is just enter the otp here so i'm just going to check my mobile and get that information so i've got the otp guys i'm just putting that there i'm just going to click on verify otp and sure enough you can see thanks for verification verification been done this has been grayed out so the user can't enter it again and now it will allow them to submit the form so if i click on submit form obviously now it's following the regular procedure of the user registration form and asking to enter all of the information post which after entering all the information the user will be able to submit the form because they have verified the mobile number if the form had a user mobile input field then you could have just selected uh, no over here and just selected mobile input name okay great uh, enter the mobile input name now we go ahead and check for the forgot password also guys you will have uh, you know the link for the tu tutorial uh, in the plugin setting uh, section only so you can always uh, check that and go through that okay and um, so after every uh, information you have a, a link to the well, that particular tutorial for that particular section okay so if you want to use it with the forgot password all you have to do is come over here and just need to put the form or parent selector of the login form and similarly like we have done on top and then you need to put the input name uh, any one input name inside the form then you need to put the meta key for the mobile number which is get stored in the database 
okay and then you will use the uh, information you'll put the information whether the mobile is number is being saved with the country code or without the country code uh, in the database and then you'll select over here whichever country you want to use it for remember the all option is only available in the premium plugin for the uh, free one it, you can use one country at a time so let's say India okay and then you just put the template over here and save changes okay so I'm not sure where they, they have their login form but uh, wherever they have you will be able to fill in all this information it's very pretty explanatory self-explanatory and then you'll be able to use the forgot password option okay I will be uh, teaching you how to use this in my other tutorials with other plugins so it will be clear to you then okay all right guys uh, see you in the next video then take care bye